Hey guys, welcome back to another one. So today, um, for the demand, we're gonna show you the dimensions of the actual first stretching machine. Um, so for that, we're gonna bring you in and actually show you the dimensions and everything for it. So if you wanted to build your own, you would be able to. Um, so first off, we're gonna go up to right here. So this is where you're actually gonna attach the hide to the actual um, post, so then it can pull on the gambrel there. So it separates the animal from the hide. So for this, we just did a um, cylinder um, rod here, and we cut a couple pin holes in there, so we can actually put a little pin in. So down here is for coyote link hides, and then you'll want to bring it up here for raccoons, so you're still working at chest level with that gambrel up there. So all the way down, uh, so this pipe in general is at 18 inches so you have that first opening right there between 15 and 17 and then you have this bottom one open from that three to five inch. so for that and then we're just using regular steel tubing here nothing special so we just went ahead welded that on and then we also spray painted it so then it won't rust or anything from all the hides and everything going on there. This is actually a 9 inch um, welding clamp um, which will work perfect for this and they only had one of those so we went ahead and got this regular clamp but then we welded on this flat steel on there and we painted it so it won't rust so that will work just like this one. So this actual beam right here is 13 inches across so you have your pipe right here so that brings it to 12 and then you have this one that brings it in by one. So these are actually only from each other about 9 inches there. And we also made it where it's at an angle downwards because then you're helping with pulling that first because if you have it flat it will want to pull itself out but when it's down here it has that extra pressure to actually hold that animal in there. So this is actually um, connected to the actual skinning machine. So it's out by two feet. And so is the top as well. So it's symmetrical up there. So then um, you have a straight pull from the gambrel down. So all together, I believe this thing is uh, about nine to two inches. Just and stuff like that, haven't had a problem. Um, so, what we did for the winch actually, this is the only one that they had in stock. Um, so, I just went ahead and got it so we could weld on the plate to hold it. So, we went ahead, have it right there so it runs down to this pulley to redirect it to go up here to hit this pulley and to come across over there to come down to the gander. So you could have only used two pulleys here, but then you're really cutting in. So the wire will be going right here. So it's right in the way of your skinning. And if you have to twist the animal or anything like that, this gets in the way. So also we put in just some supporting struts here. Right there, right there. And then we put in, uh, we had an extra part of that cylinder tube. So we went ahead and put that on the back, just as a back support. And then we did a triangle support on the back to hold that in. And each of these are about 16 and a half inches for this side. And on the back, since it's not really going to be applying any pressure, it's just to keep it from tipping. It's right at that 14 and a half inch mark. And these are going at a pretty steep angle as well, just to help hold everything in. So. For this, you could probably use um, thick steel tubing. I'd probably go a little thicker than what we have just for supporting struts. Um, this is just an old basketball hoop that we had, and it works very well as it's nice thick metal, uh, very wide, so it helps get rid of that load that's going to be on there from pulling coyotes and stuff like that, especially. And it is strong enough to actually hold if you actually put all your weight on there it'll actually be able to hold you as well since we double decked this with one inch tubing 
So we have the one going fully across, and we have the one running right into the pipe, and then we also have the triangle brace there. And then we have a flat steel that we bent across, so it goes around the back, and welded that on for just a little bit extra support. And then I have real big bolts going for the pulleys as well. And then for the bottom, since this is going to be the other place where the load's going to be very high, right here and up here is going to be where it's going to be going. So we put two one inch steel tubings right on the bottom to help hold that weight. And then we have the one triangle support. So I think that's pretty much all of that that I have. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments below and like, it, like and subscribe for more.